Hello and welcome to the Essence of Knowledge meeting. This is the weekly meeting for the participants of the program Essence of Knowledge. This program is a free and online program for the seekers of the path of knowledge and these meetings are the part of this program. Those who are interested can join this program and the meetings happen in the step number 3 of the program. I try to clear your doubts and try to answer your questions and we help people to verify the knowledge. If you have any question, you're most welcome to ask. Those who are in other steps of the program, they are also most welcome to ask their questions. If you are facing any problems in uh, your uh, practices, awareness practice, and those who have completed the program, they may not remain in the program, but still I allow some time after the program is done so that uh, you can uh, get a chance to ask something if needed but yes the people who have completed the program people who are inactive people who have failed they will not benefit from this meeting so in order to keep a minimum amount of people in the meeting we have made this rule but you can always contact me directly if you have any question the meeting is over but i will be there the group will not be there but i will be there to answer all your questions prasmita is asking can you explain what is compassion on pok i feel i have become less compassionate towards other suffering knowing everything is illusion it is very easy compassion means that you do not harm anybody knowingly any creature even non living like environment rivers trees plants that is compassion not causing any kind of harm in one word you can say non violent that much happens automatically because why will you want to cause suffering or harm to anything only those who are suffering cause suffering for others those who are in bliss they never cause any kind of suffering if you are in bliss you are already compassionate if anybody is already suffering and that is not because of you that is because of their own circumstances or their own actions then it is not lack of compassion simply you cannot do anything there it is not your doing you are not causing the harm but probably you are not able to help also you are not able to solve that suffering for the other person and 99% of the time this will be the case this is normal this is natural that an average human is so small and powerless compared to this uh, infinity of the world there are infinite things that are going on in the world and an average person average seeker is so small in front of that the 99% of the time we are not able to do anything except simply watch them suffering so that is the normal situation in 1% of the cases especially your friends and family around you you will be able to do something and then if you are capable do something so the more people you see they are suffering it will appear that i am unable to do anything for them but that does not mean that you are now less compassionate because you are not doing anything that does not mean that you are losing compassion that simply means it is not possible for you to do anything now secondly you can see that it is all an illusion many people are suffering in the illusion they are mostly they are suffering due to their own actions that is the karmic fruit it is a very deep subject there is individual karma there is tribal karma there is karma of the family genetic karma and so there there are so many things and there are consequences of it so when you see that you will say that i cannot do anything here it is their own doing and one part of your mind will say you are so uncompassionate but that is practical reason you cannot do much there yes you can go ahead experiment and interfere in the matters of others even if it is their suffering you are trying to remove then you will share the consequences of their actions 
now you have tangled yourself in these threads of actions and consequences nobody can say what will be the consequence of meddling into somebody else's suffering somehow you know these things and now you do not interfere without any big reason and it will look like that i am not doing anything <laughs> i don't even feel anything about these people but that is the reality know that it is an illusion if possible do something about it at least for those to whom you are karmically related try to help them do not force your help on them try to help them and it will not work most of the time so just pray for the rest 99% of the cases you can only pray just say some good words for those who are suffering if you are more capable you can do something more you will find one thing the essence of suffering comes out to be ignorance ignorance is the cause of suffering so you can hit on the root this is the root cause probably you already know because you are in the program we have handled this question of suffering and ignorance in very detail so you can attack the problem at the root the root is ignorance do something to reduce the ignorance that is all you can do that is the highest form of compassion not superficial action you are hitting the root that is the highest compassion so i gave you so many pointers write down and if your mind says again some day it will say <laughs> you are not compassionate then you can read the notes again what did my guru say about compassion that will solve your problem neelam is saying is multitasking being in an awareness because in multitasking when work is done with less attention or more or less mechanically and another work is done with some more awareness like i listen to satsang audios while doing the daily house keeping works no it is not a big problem awareness is very simply that in general you are aware of the truth in general you know what is this world who you are awareness does not mean that every second you are repeating the knowledge no <laughs> it is a wide focus wide angle lens so not everything will be in focus so keep your attention on that which is most important suppose you are listening while driving now your attention should be on driving not on satsang but you can do that many people do that in our mind in our brain there is a capability that if the senses do not interfere with each other they can operate parallelly parallel processing our brains are capable of that because you have this ability of simultaneous actions that does not mean that you are you become automatically unaware no are you in general aware of what you are while doing your work that does not mean mentally repeating who you are it is a sense of being what you are remember awareness is not an action it is not a job it is not a work to be done you cannot multitask awareness like, like let me do a job with awareness with the job of awareness sometimes awareness sometimes job that is the wrong understanding of awareness are you doing your work with full attention full dedication full skill beauty while fully knowing who you are has it become your lifestyle has it become your way of being like this that is awareness it is not a job it is not mindlessly repeating that i am somebody i am not human i am not or i i i am the experiencer now i am brahman now i am the god so i must act in a special way no that is not awareness that is stupidity just live your ordinary life in the light of knowledge it is so simple so as soon as your mind says this is not awareness i am multitasking that is not awareness you can recall this thing that it is not something which should be done and it is not something which will come which will interfere in your actions whether there are 10 actions you are doing at the same time or if it is only one or if you are sit- simply sitting in silence these things will never affect your awareness awareness is not dependent on what you do it is simply the knowledge there is no doer 
nothing is happening there is a witness which is you it is so simple and because it is so simple people don't understand it they try to make it complicated they try to make turn it into a very very difficult kind of sadhana tapasya and then they get the firing from me because i don't like this the whole point of path of knowledge is to take you out of your suffering to make you a non doer and the whole sadhana is simply increasing your burden of doing something that is a failure live your life as you do and just be the observer of it whatever is happening wherever the attention is going you are the observer if it is not going anywhere you are the observer of that you are the witness if this body mind is doing something good yes you are the witness neutral witness if it is doing something bad you are the witness it is so simple remember this thing that's all when you forget no problem whenever you remember remember it again it is all very very simple if you want you can simplify it even more that i don't want to do this practice at all whenever there is a difficult time in my life i'll remember what i am i'll remember all the knowledge this is the simplest form of practice you will need to do it anyway <laughs> whatever this mind body is doing it will do it if it is necessary the rest of the time you can enjoy your life no need to practice the practice is not a practice it is a way of being it is a way of living your life it is a lifestyle just now i was giving the examples of compassion when you stand near a plant with beautiful flowers on it do you think of destroying the plant do you think of cutting off the flowers putting it in your hair in your mouth like a goat no never because you are aware that this is a living thing plus you are aware of the beauty and the fragrance of the flowers you are aware what will my action do if i cut them off how is it possible even a slightly intelligent person has this kind of awareness because it is your nature so how is your nature witness which practice will make you witness nothing it is your nature if you simply remember your nature you will become like that if you don't become like that don't worry there is no rule it's not compulsory automatically you will not do anything unnecessary automatically if you are in awareness so there is no ethical guideline there is no to do list there is no dress code <laughs> there is nothing behavior is not prescribed on path of knowledge because we know those who have knowledge they already are perfect in every way even if you don't do awareness practice you will be by nature perfect thank you everybody for attending to this satsang i'll see you next time